Jace Mateo, Jace Mateo, Jace Mateo. We just started and my neck is already tired. Really? Yeah. Jace Mateo, Jace Mateo, Jace Mateo, Sonic. You're not a dog! <laughs> he I'm may just, as well be. I thought I'd just go talk to the professor. Anyway, we are the Insane Duo and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. In the last episode, we it took care of Cool Edge Day and Spagun and Rooftop Run Night and had a rather boring time of Rooftop Run Night, by the way. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's one of the more boring levels in the game, anyway. And in this episode, we are going to talk to the professor, to the professor and see which level we have to do next. Bye, Amy. Bye. Hi, Amy. Bye, Amy. <laughs> yeah, you can talk to Amy if you want to, but you never have to. Thank God. Mm -hmm. There is actually one point where it, where there is actually one point in the game where you can, where you can talk to Amy and she'll ask you if you want to go on a date after this entire thing is over. And that's the reason why I Sonic and the Black Knight happens, I believe. Sonic. Because people do say yep, that. Yep. Tune in. Because the because the storybook games are in line with the main canon. We have I have no idea where Secret Rings takes place, but most people say that uh, Black Knight takes place after Unleashed because of the whole date question. And I like and I like Black Knight. Some people hate it. I like it. Eh, I like it. I just don't like it as much as Secret Rings. I hate Secret. I don't like Secret Rings. Yeah. As much. Uh, I kind of like it. I mean, it has really good music. I mean, let's face it. That let's face it. That Shudo final boss theme. Uh, the water yeah. level, the ice level, the air level. Especially the air level. Well, the final level. The fire level. Basically everything but the first two levels. I like the... Well, the, you mean the tutorial level and the... I'm uh, not counting the tutorial level. Okay, I like the first level. Second level can just go fuck it. Uh, well, I, I actually like the second level more than the first one, personally. And I know we gotta do Chun-Nan Day. We gotta do... We, do, we, gotta, do, we, do, we gotta do Day first. Alright. You sure? Yes. I could've sworn... We gotta do Day first. Because hmm. what's the point of doing Day... What's the... They make you do both ver they make you do both versions of the continent. So what's the point of doing day if you do night first, given the fact that we do that most of the time whenever you do a stage, then the bo whatever version of the if you have a night boss, then you're doing the night stage for directly before said boss. Okay. I think you gotta talk to someone, but Giant laser! Well, okay, so the really... continents you go to are set, but uh, in terms of actually doing the levels, I think you can just fuck off and get, go, go do them in whatever order you want. Yeah. Oh, oh, just barely. Yeah, you just barely made that. Can I get the odd arc book? Uh, you need flight dash. I don't know why. But whatever. Yes, we know it's there. For some reason, and for some reason, I don't need to do you. Do you? Okay, that. Okay, I need to stop with the flub ups. I need to stop with the speaking flub ups, especially after the one from two episodes ago. Anyway. Okay, there's apparently an invisible wall there. I don't Between actually... curtains. Go! Ah! Eh, yeah, fuck it. I'm going, to the, I'm going to the level. I'm gonna try and find the level anyway. Alright, You need to be. You need the werehog in order to get. get that, uh. moon metal. Tonight? I'm checking something. Because either we're derping really fucking hard on what level we're supposed to do next, or... I don't know. One thing about the Wii version is that uh, two places in complete... two places in different continents can unlock... will unlock the gate in another... Con on another continent. Like, one like one half of the place is gonna, is gonna be in Chunan, while the other half of it is in, like, Alaska. Oh. Yeah, that's me. Give it. 
Okay, we derped really fucking hard on what level we're supposed to do next, but now that I think about it... But since we're doing this first, what's the point of doing Chundan Day? To get, to, get a piece, to get a piece of the gate for another continent. The ancients mixed and matched all the pieces from different continents. Except for the last area. That's the best thing I can give you. No, because... As, okay, there's... I know there's something behind it. I say, that was a sun metal. And I say no because... I say no because of... I could have sworn that you get the same key in the same... I get. I could have sworn you get the keys for the temples in the same cotton. <laughs> like you would get the... Like you would get the keys for Halaska with in both on Halaska. So I don't understand what... The, so I have no idea what the flying fuck the point of Chimnan Day is. Then why, then why is the reason that we went to Halaska before we, before we went to Spagonia? I mean, what was the what was the only really cool edge day before doing a rooftop run night? I think at that point they just had to flip flop it around, but I know for a fact that you get the same. I know for a fact that the keys are not interchanged between continents. So I don't understand. I don't understand the point. Granted, there's an entire continent in this game that was completely cut out from the Wii version because of the fact that it was completely inconsequential to the plot. So, hey, I the, think, the I entirety think, of Santa, Savannah Citadel got cut out. Hey, at least kick the boss right. I believe you. Wow, well, 40 hit combo. Second fight. Why the hell are they singing that? I don't know. I thought I'd pick something up. I don't think I did. Yeah, I really. By the way, this is a song I really don't like. Like, I I really do not like this song. Oh. It's okay, but that's it. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, no. The only point of this song that I really, really you missed the song though. I did. No. Yeah, it blended in very well. Oh yeah. Um, the, I should, I should, right, I should actually like. I don't hate this song. I hate the intro. I really hate the intro of this song. The, the, the beginning, the very beginning of this song is just obnoxious, but the rest of the song is okay. All I know is that if I want Asian sounding music, I'll play Far Cry before I'll listen to Far Cry's music before I listen to this. Or better yet, I'll listen to the theme. Uh, or better yet, I'll listen to Gilgamesh's theme from Final Fantasy XIII too. That's more Japanese even was. I said Asian. Oh, okay. Not Chinese. Ankle Chinese food music. Have you ever tried looking that up? Uh, no, but I imagine it's good. Look at this. Oh, and by the way, at the time we're recording this, the Steam Summer Sale is going on, and, uh... Uh, it's very tempting for Connor. Yes, because I actually have a PC that can run shit. Unlike Jeff, who doesn't. Don't you watch most of your... Don't you watch YouTube and shit mostly on your phone or 3DS or Wii U? My Wii U. Uh because of how shit your computer is. Yes. And I think I miss. Well, when this barrier goes down, then I'll, I'll go after it. I was gonna say, it should, the barrier should go down. How many summons do you have? Uh, I'm kind of in a busy mood. Uh, boss. Uh, there's one behind the door before the checkpoint, but they also miss it. There's one thing I'm glad for is that, is that I know from the get-go that experience keeps, regardless of you know, the fact that you die. Uh, no. That's what, hey, did, hey, we're, hey, well, what about rooftop run night? My experience was capped 10 bars in it. Okay. You said... Uh, there was one by the door in that 
Oh. Well, all over there is breakable. Yeah, I, I know. I, I just messed all the cracks. Go for the door. Go for the door first. It's just quicker. Okay. There it is. I was gonna say, I know it's not behind the door. You know what I mean. Cheers, Thunderball! Yeah, it saves from the checkpoint, but not from after the checkpoint until you reach the next I If it had landed on the bridge, it would have killed those flowers, but... No. Uh, kill the flowers and grab the juice sun metals over on the boxes over there. Oh, shit! Ugh. I don't think there are invisible walls, but I do think it won't shove you off the edge like it does in Heroes. can attack in the air. Yeah, it won't shove you off the edge like in Heroes, but it won't. Ow! Fuck you too, pal! Ah! There are two... There are two sun on the boxes over there. Oh, oh look! Red variant bees! Ugh. Oh wait, no, it's just a blue metal. Never mind. What the hell? Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! It says there are two sun levels over in the previous area, so we'll go back and look at them, please. Okay, I will. As soon as I can kill this goddamn bee! Yeah. Or he kills you. I'm allergic. Oh, no, 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 no. Back up towards the brickle wall? No. It's here. Oh, he just put he just put the text twice.
know, there was a ground rail on top of that building. Uh, that's... that won't activate unless you take the shortcut... unless you take the shortcut in order to get a moon medal and a record that I missed because I didn't know how to do it. No, oh, so it's a bullshit... Uh, so it's bullshit not happening moment, is that what you're saying? Yep. Skeleton or something right here that you have to climb on to get a metal? Uh, That's the shortcut thing I was talking about. Oh. Ah! I didn't see that until it was too late. <laughs> You're not supposed to punch what carries you. You know, granted back... I jumped at the wrong time too, so. Yeah. You know, back when I used to watch Game Grumps, uh, they did Mario, they, they, had, they did play through Mario 2. Well, it was Danny, it was Danny who was doing Mario 2. Which Mario 2? USA. Good. And, they, and, and, and he then was playing the entire thing as Luigi. And the, you know that you know what you know the the sky level section? Yeah. Uh he 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 accidentally he, he was like, well, I murdered my right, because he threw a tiny because he threw a shy guy, I bounced off another shy guy and ended up bouncing the pulse that he that he <laughs> that he was like Well, I just murdered my ride. <laughs> and then he was like, I'm sorry. And then he said, Please, Luigi, just hold your gun as a spinner. like, well, this is a fine pickle. And then there was this one of this whole joke called Mayor Luigi. And it was fucking hilarious. I should probably show you the animation of it when we're done. Uh, By the way, we're back. I'm just going to say one thing about Game Grumps. I don't watch them anymore, but they... Well, the only thing that's worth watching is when, they're, is when, they get, is when somebody animates something. Oh, a highlight of very, very uh, diamond in the rough when it comes to most of the playthroughs. I'm just gonna say that right now. I have nothing against them, but the commentary is kind of ass at times. At least we have, at least we have a better checkpoint than what we originally had. That's a lot of rex. Yeah. And a big mama. There's actually a reason why I'm trying to jump on these boxes. Is it ignore them? And this is an instance of no drop shadow. Well, you do have a drop shadow, it's just not the one there. you would expect. Oh, that's... this will help out a lot. Okay, Thunderbolt, you can stop now. You just pull on the head and go, how do you? It's on the water, how come it's not zapping any of them? It's not on the water. No, not fine. It landed on the, the Rex has disappeared for some reason. Well, think back. Oh, they all followed me. <laughs> Wizard. <laughs> and they hit it, it, it is red. I don't think they're friends, more like forced to witnesses. You know what I mean. Well, maybe they're friends because you know they were afraid of the same guy. So Black Wizards just attack? Oh shit, they multiply. Grab that. 
You know what? Look at this. Later! You don't want the experience. I decided to say, fuck it. <laughs> why didn't why did you think smart? I didn't think you could. I didn't see a barrier. New record of 28 minutes! <sighs> and it was, that was a C rank, apparently. Apparently. Anyway... This is gonna be it for the episode. We basically said fuck it to both the experience you get from the fight and the sun metal over there because we just wanted to get this done. I think you're thrown right into the boss fight. Yeah. Oh crap, I am! Ah, shit. Well, it saves when you're done, so if we. Okay, pause. Pause. I, I believe. Uh, okay. Uh, bah! We have been the. Okay. Uh, let's. It... Okay, fine. Let's beat up the boss, then call it a session. Yeah, the boss is actually fun. Yes. Uh, just keep it at this part, then. Then you have something exciting to watch. Yeah. Dark, Dark Gaia, Gaia Phoenix. Phoenix. I love this song. Yeah, this is a highlight. I play my for reason now. Here's how you fight him. You pick this, chuck it. I said chuck it. Ah! I forgot he has homing missiles. Grab the sun medals. I'm trying to. Well, grab all the medals. They're easy to mine. By the way, that health bar may be pitiful, but it's got three phases, so. I believe these quick time events are random, I'm not sure. Well, it's a phoenix, which means it gets up pretty quick. Yeah. I need a. Oh, like I said, three phases. There's a. Ah! Camera! There's metal there. There we go. There's two moon medals in this place. There's one. one. right there. Oh, I thought that was a sun though. For a second, I thought it was just a pot. Might be a sun mill around this spot somewhere. Get off it, Sonic! Why is this thing destroying its own home? It's possessed. Nope, there it is. Good. Okay, just one more moon metal. And then I then I'll be focused on be entirely focused on beating the crap out of this guy. There it is! Ooh, not a jump missile, I thought I jumped off. Wouldn't that be annoying? Yeah. Get up and grab the freaking pot and throw it at the guy. Oops. Don't punch it now! I do like how this arena looks. Quite the nice looking thing. By the way, the farther into the fight you go, the more barrels it takes to cool it off. It gets pissed off and has the flames of anger. Oh shit! Oh damn it. Uh, I hate this attack, I hate this attack. Because well, I hate getting caught in it anyway. It's, e and it, it's an easy attack to avoid, it's just a pain in the butt when you get caught. Now, Gah. The best time to hit it is when it, is when it lands. Speaking of, speaking of Chugga, do you think he'll, do you think he'll ever do this game? Ah, uh, maybe. I hope to god he does this version of the game, because... Only Clement needs to do the Wii version of this game. Can you tell I don't like the Wii version all that much? I think I remember you trying to. I think I remember you borrowing it for a little bit. I borrowed it at one point, and then I just said, "Fuck it, I'm not doing this." I do find it. I do find it kind of cool that Sonic just punches in the crotch. That and punching it right in the face multiple times. Okay, final phase. Although I do find it weird that Sonic can apparently howl in this form. It's a werehog. I know, but still. Are you saying only wolves can howl? No. Well, I... Well, I find it... Well, actually, I should say I find it weird that Sonic can howl like... So much like a wolf in this form. Yeah, I was gonna say don't... Oops. I was gonna say don't bother. Gotta wait for these things to respawn. Um... Ah! Hot, 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 barely, really hot. 
Shit, I hate that! This thing's attacks are easy as hell to dodge. Yeah, despite getting, more, despite needing more water jugs in order to, in order to be able to hit it in later phases, this thing's a three-trick pony. It's not that big a deal. And by the way, and before you Got get, on, and before you get on my case, that's an actual saying. So don't, so. Bleh. Yeah, I know. You can't hit its legs. You don't need to jump. <laughs> Oops. I hit the wrong button on a stick. I actually hit the circle. No shit, son. If you've done this already. You only, at least you only need to hit it with one water jug. Okay, buddy. Come into range. Probably shouldn't even pick this up. Okay. Well, During well, his dive bomb, I can hit him with it. Yeah, just got to time it right. How did that hit? I don't know. Where'd he go? He's gonna... Now... Oh, wrong oh. way! <laughs> uh, just <laughs> stay behind a thing because it's gonna... He's gonna do his attacks now. Shit. So, uh, or... uh, put it into me since I'm coming up next. Speed or ring energy? Ring energy. It's more important. You can really go throughout. The, you you really can go through the uh, the entire game without upgrading speed at all. And it, it'll affect your ranking, but that's really about it. Forty eight minutes. A lot of that's being cut out. Yes. Thank, Thank God. You. But still. At least we have enough episodes for an entire week. Did you? Did you press a button? No. That just looked weird to me. Okay. Okay, yeah, it, you spend a little time outside and then you go in here and then, yeah. I understand. I remember now. Now for our second Chaos Emerald. By the way, if the audio changed, I forgot to mention I forgot to mention this earlier, but uh, our mic started dying, so uh, I had to plug it in. Yeah, we had to plug it in, and that forces it to flip a different direction because the wall plug-in is very, very far away from where we can actually set this thing. Yeah, we have a wireless microphone. Well, actually, it's a wireless headset that we're using as a microphone. Not the best thing in the world. Yeah, really, really not. If we had, if we had a uh, actual audio setup, if we had a studio mic or two, or places for two headsets, then we would do that. But we don't, so bleh. Run, Sonic. 
Why are you running on two legs? You know you're faster on all fours. He's still not used to it, I guess. <laughs> ah! This is the only Dark Gaia boss that we ever see after we beat it, by the way. Every other thing just disappeared, just pushed into nothingness. You must have gone berserk when the emeralds lost their power. We can assume that the same thing that happened to this guy happens to the other two bo other two Dark Gaia bosses, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> and this why would you offer the Phoenix chocolate, and why would it take it? <laughs> it accepts it as an offering, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it just wants food, and it knows it's food. Maybe. I mean, I imagine this thing's been around people for quite a while, so it knows what people food is. True. I guess that's its nest up there? I don't know, maybe the temple is its nest. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, where do these things go at the very end of the game? I'm not going to spoil what happens at the very end of the game, but I know, but Jeff, me and Jeff both know what happens, so i got to wonder what happens. What happens to those guys? They go into retirement? Hey, Warbot! Proto Warbot. I just know that that scenes, why are you making this go on longer than it needs to? Proto Warbot has like a barcode right above his eyes. It's very faint, but I guess. You know, no, it looked like he did you, for a second. You were just seeing things. Yeah, I guess I was. Oh, no, yeah. It's the, it's the way the light just. It's lighting. It's the way the light just flips out around the, the, uh, the roundness yes. of his head. You could have mixed up the words you used there, Orbot. Just gotta say. <laughs> Even now, Orbot doesn't like Eggman. Like I said, like I said in episode one, Sonic was extremely lucky that Eggman forgot to grab those. And you can and you can tell that he forgot because as of the expression and the fact that he's trying to cover it up. <laughs> and he's trying to act like Joker, but the it'll be boring. It'll be boring if he wasn't was trying to stop him. Well, for, well, that's a legitimate reason for Joker. This is just Eggman trying to cover up his own stupidity. Yeah. That that map is not is not you know, here with the map with the world map we have. Well, it's like well, it's like the actual world map. It, it, it's stretched by a lot in some places. <laughs> I like how it was being trying to be deep and thought provoking, and then it just says nobody likes a whiner. <laughs> We won't find out what Eggman's actually doing here until a little while later, but oh well. That is, nice, that nice. is the weirdest architecture. That is the weirdest architect table I've ever seen. And that's basically what that thing is, a high-tech architect, architect table. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's using Inventor. I don't know. Wait, is that a program or something? Yes. What's it for? To make a... To basically make a... Model of what you're trying to build on the computer. Is, just, it, is just... it an Adobe thing? No. Oh. I was gonna say, because if it's an Adobe thing, then I think I've had it on my computer before because they just give us the entire darn thing. Nope. Inventor is something that you gotta download. It's quite big. It's, it's quite big. It's fun to, it's fun to, if you're trying to, if you're just fucking around with it. Anyway, we have been the Insane Duo on this and on this almost hour long part. We did a lot of bullshit. And on the next episode, we're probably going to go to Halaska next, hopefully. Uh, I think Spagonia is next. I hope Halaska... Uh, Spagonia is next. I'm not sure. Spagonia anyway, is next. We, I know we at least got to talk to Professor Pickle in order to figure out 
out which one's next. Anyway, see you then.